everyone welcome to the second part of the chapter hydrogen for class 8 icc chemistry topic so we have already discussed about the occurrence and the preparation of hydrogen the, uh, by the electrolysis of water so let us learn about electrolysis and some related terms for that so let me learn what is meant by the term electrolysis so what is electrolysis electrolysis is a process in which an electric current an electric current is passed through an aqueous state aqueous solution or a molten state so electrolysis is a process in which an electric current is passed through an aqueous solution or a molten state of a compound to bring a chemical change if we pass an electric current for an aqueous solution or a molten state of a compound we should take only a compound so and that will come that will bring a chemical change so that is a process of electrolysis so this definition is important so the passage of electric current takes place because the compound in the liquid state or a solution state produces a free ions for passing an electric current we need to take an uh, aqueous solution or a molten state so when will that aqueous solution or molten state uh, uh, will pass an electric current in order to pass that solution or that state should produce a free ions ions are negatively or positively charged which will will discussed in this fourth fourth terms related to the electrolysis okay so these ions carries the charge whether it is a positive whether it is positive charge or negative charge these ions will carry this charge if there is an ion in the state or a solution or a liquid state or a solution state then only electric current can pass so this process of electrolysis involves the two steps at the first the ions can the ions present in the solution of molten compound migrate towards the solid conductor called electrodes so we have discussed that ion should be present in a solution or molten compound to make a uh, to conduct the electric current so this ions which is present should migrate towards the solid conductor called electrodes so what is electrodes then these electrodes or the conducting substance solid conducting substance so these are anode and cathode okay so we will discuss discuss in this right electrodes electrodes so in the second step the ions released their charges at the electrodes and become neutral so at the second step of uh, this process so at the second step ions ions release their charges at electrodes so ions will release their charge whether it's may be positive or uh, negative this release their charge and and becomes neutral neutral means no charge okay this is what the two step which you need to learn carefully so now starting with the with some terms that is related to the electrolysis so the first is of the electrolytes electrolytes so electrolytes are the compounds in aqueous or molten state that con uh, th that conducts the electric current through them because they contain free mobile ions so electrolytes are just a compound just a aqueous or a a uh, molten compounds so and that compound which will carry that electricity so it is an aqueous or a molten compound which carries an electricity is known as the electrolytes electrolytes so electrolytes are of two types so let me see which is the first type that is of strong and the weak electrolytes so strong electrolytes they are disassociated almost completely into ions in their aqueous or molten state okay they contain only ions in the solution 
ions they contain ions in the solutions example is sodium chloride lead bromide sodium hydroxide uh, nitric acid sulfuric acid hydrochloric acid these are the strong electrolytes so you need to just learn the whole uh, paragraph which is given coming to the weak electrolytes so these are the substance partially dissociated into ions in their liquid states in this solution contains both ions as well as molecules for example aluminium hydroxide acetic acid etc so these are what so we have learned that strong electrolytes uh, dissociate almost completely into ions in the liquid or molten state but here weak electrolytes partially dissociated uh, partially dissociated into ions in the liquid state okay and examples you can give for differentiation right so for example of strong electrolytes is sodium chloride sodium hydroxide hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid etc and in weak electrolytes is ammon ammonium hydroxide and nitric acid it, you should know the formula of these two that is of so for ammonium hydroxide the formula is nh4 oh yes for hydroxide oh is compulsory for nitric acid it is very easy that is of h n o 3 so this is the formula of nitric acid so this is of weak electrolysis coming to the non electrolysis non electrolytes sorry non electrolytes okay so electrolytes we know electrolytes are just a compound in an aqueous or molten state that conducts electricity but what is non electrolytes then non electrolytes are compound which do not conduct electric current in their aqueous solution or molten state and do not decompose into ions are called non electrolytes opposite to electrolytes non electrolytes so they may be asked in differentiation okay they may be asked in the difference between elect uh, electrolytes and non electrolytes and uh, example of non electrolytes are sugar pure water and alcohol so pure water is a bad conductor of electricity why uh, but uh, in order to make a electrolysis we uh, took a water we passed electric current it split into h2 and o2 right so how it split so we not took a pure water we added some acid salt for it by adding the uh, acid or salt to it it makes a good conductor so what a pure water is also a bad conductor now coming to the electrodes i told you uh, the first step about the electrolysis electrolysis process right uh, uh, at second step i think yes the charges migrates to electrodes right so and becomes neutral let me see what is this electrodes then electrodes are two conducting solid poles through which an electric current enters or leave an electrolyte called electrodes so so this electrodes are just a conducting solid poles which which an electric current enters or leaves an electrodes sorry enters or leaves an electrolyte uh, are called electrodes so in which these I mean two ends in this is of uh, positive and negative these are two poles uh, which electric current enters or leaves okay so this is generally made up of metal or graphite we know that graphite is a good conductor of heat and electricity the two electrodes are called the cathode and anode cathode and anode are two electrodes electrodes cathode what is cathode so there are two electrodes so these two electrodes are cathode and anode so what is anode what is what is cathode anode anode are elect, uh, electrode connected to the positive terminal of the battery the anode is the positive terminal of the battery 
cathode is an electrode electrode connected to the negative terminal of the battery that is of a cathode so current enters the electrolytes through anode so current will current will comes will enters from this anode only and with current will leaves from this negative terminal that is of cathode anions migrate and discharge their anode okay anions or an anions cations anions are negatively charged cations are positively charged so anode cathode anions cations do not confuse anode means positive charge cathodes means negatively charged anions anions means negatively charged cations ions ions okay cations means positively charged okay so anions migrate and discharge their discharge at the anode cations migrate and dis discharge a charge at cathode so the charge in the anions is what so charge in the anions ions i am talking about is of negative and cations is of positive we will discuss yes here see ions ions are electrically discharged atoms or group of atoms formed due to the decomposition of electro electrolytes during electrolysis so this definition important so what is anode what anions cations so anion i'm talking about an ion here also i'm talking about an ion so do not confuse with the anode in the cathode okay this is i'm talking about anions in cat and cations and in here i was talking about the anode and cathode okay so what is anion what is cations so as i told you here only an ions are negatively charged cations are positively charged and second definition of anions and the cations i i told here only okay anions migrates uh, and discharge a charge at anode cations migrate and discharge a uh, discharge a charge at the cathode so that one only that is of second definition okay that is of second definition so examples anions negatively charged are known as anions positively charged are known as cations so what are negatively charged ions so there is of cl2 cl minus oh minus br minus so so4 2 minus hco3 minus co3 2 minus etc so these are example of anions that is of negatively charged so cations na plus ba2 plus ca2 plus al3 plus pb2 plus nh4 1 plus so this is example of anions and cations so uh, one thing most of us do is confusion between the anions cat uh, anions and anodes cations and cathode okay you should see the word correctly ion if an ion ion is there means that is of negative anode anode is there means that is of positive cation ion is there means cation cation is positive cathode thod cathode is there means negative okay i hope this is clear electrolytic cell it is a container in which electrolysis takes place this is just a container in which an electrolysis electrolysis takes place is the next the electric el electrolytic cell electrolytic cell so the by the action of dilute acid on an active metal then also then also we will prepare we will get a what hydrogen gas let me see how oh. so let me take a metal so mg is a metal let we add with the dilute acid dilute means we will mix with the water we will get one compound with hydrogen gas releasation you should learn all this if i take a metal zinc and add with the dilute acid h2so4 i'm going to get znso4 which is a compound uh, which is a compound and i'm going to get h2 gas okay so the just the aim is when we add a metal and add a dilute acid we will get hydrogen gas if i take zn and add with the hcl it from zn cl 2 plus h2 okay h2 gas is again released 
If I take in Fe and add with the HCl, it forms FeCl2 and H2 gas is released. FeCl2 is ferrous chloride. So these reactions should be biated. Okay, should be biated. 